This lecture is about a rag. Uh, it is not a rag to reach a story. It is about retrieval augmented generation. So the generation is done by the LLM, the large language model, and the retrieval augmentation is done by some external information. So we'll put it to practice and see of how it is done. So it is done by the Azure OpenAI being the LLM, and the external information is provided by Azure AI Search. So let's look at the architecture here. So the architecture has two main parts in which there is this data sources, which in case it is files, and here we put it into Azure AI Search. That is the first step. So when a user puts in an user input, it goes through the orchestrator, it goes the queries, goes into the Azure AI Search. The Azure AI Search gives the knowledge and the knowledge along with a prompt is sent again by the orchestrator to the Azure OpenAI and it gives a response back to the user. So that's the whole flow. So let's break it down into parts. So the first is a data ingestion. So here what happens is a file is broken into pages. It is uploaded to Azure Blob. And then the program will break each page into sections. And each section is loaded into Azure AI Search. The indexing of each section is done. So how it is done? So let's consider a PDF. And let's take, for example, the actual thing. So here we are in this application, Azure AI Search and Docs. So we are considering this document. So it is a document from a class 11 biology book and it is chapter four, Animal Kingdom. It has got 18 pages. So when we upload it, what happens is that it has got 18 pages and this page is broken up into various sections, each page. And this is uploaded into Azure AI Search. So we'll see it in action here. So here's our program. The program of the upload docs, it has got these parts. So continuing on that, what happens is that if you see it, then this is uploaded and you see this upload goes on through this program. And there are 17, there are 18 chapters, 18 pages. So there are, um, so 18 PDFs are made. It starts from zero to zero to 17 is 18. And then it is broken up into 34 sections. So that means, each page is broken up into two sections. So here, each page is broken up into section one and section two. So how this is done? All the code that I'll show will be checked into GitHub. So this is a notebook that we use for upload docs. So we'll not go through the code line by line, but rather I would take your attention to some of the important features. The important features are this. First, we create the search index. And then what we do is upload the blobs, that is for the file name, uh, we put it into the blob storage and then we uh, put it, the, what we do is that we break up the blob into several, sec several pages and each page is then divided into sections and then the indexing of the section goes on. But before we do this, what we should do is that I should have shown you this we should create an Azure AI search resource. So this is the AI search resource and this is the Azure AI search resource. And you create it just like as you create any resource here. And uh, what the most important thing is that you put on the semantic ranker. So the semantic ranker uses deep neural networks to provide relevant results and answers based on semantics, that is intentions, not on just lexical analysis, which means not just keywords. So this is a plan, which is a free one, choose that. If you want a much more stronger plan, there is the standard always. So this is the Azure AI search that we are referring to in, in the program. Another point is that here is the uh, Azure account, and here it is a container, the docs, which we are putting. And in the docs, we'll see that if, if we go into the docs, it will come up, it will show all the PDFs that have been uploaded. So you see here from 0 to eight, 18, uh, 17, these uh, blobs have been stored. 
So that's the thing. Now, once all that is ingested, what we do is now query. So querying what would happen is that you search using the Azure AI search. The search results are obtained and then it is sent to Azure OpenAI and the answer is sent by Azure OpenAI to the user. So I'll just show you in the code of how it is done. We have used Streamlit as the UI. So in the Streamlit app, what we do is that here is the user input and um, we are getting this thing and we are searching the client. We are searching the client here and we are getting the search results and we are doing the query type as semantic and we are getting the top three results and for each of the top three results we are getting the references and then after we get the references what we do is that we send the prompt as well as uh, the user input to the Azure OpenAI which will generate the answer. If you just go to generate answer, uh, go to definition, you will see that this is how we are using Azure OpenAI here and the prompt is here and in the prompt here what we are passing is the context. The context is the search results that we are getting. So the content is from the search results that we are getting. So let's see this in action and to get it into action what we'll do is that we'll uh, we will run the application. So let us run the application. So this is So the, while we run the application, what I would like to show you is that if we go to, to chat GPT OpenAI and if we go to chat GPT OpenAI and if I use my application out here and say if I type in we'll compare the application here. So let it come back. So this is the application here. So let me ask this. Uh, this is a very difficult question for me. So, but let's ask this uh, application. So, when we ask it, it goes in, it goes, so it has given the references right away from where it is speaking the answer and it is quite fast. It gives the answer about the diploblastic and the triploblastic organization. So, let's do something very interesting here. So, this is a biology book. So, let us ask what is segmentation here to chat GPT and let's see what, what answer it gives. So ChatGPT is giving the answer and it is giving the answer because it does not know the context and it is giving lots, lots and lots of answers. So you see it gave a lot of answers which is here and it gave answers based on market segmentation, computer science, image processing, biology, cell segmentation and so on and so forth. So, so when we ask this question to this application out here, what is segmentation? Let's see what it gives the answer. Mind you, this answer will come from the text here and this segmentation, let's see what it answers. So it picks up these answers from these two and you see how it is giving. Since this is this uh, chapter is on animal kingdom, so, so it gives the answer based on this context and the answer is that it is a division of the animal's body into a series of similar or identical repeating segments. So that is very important. It catches the context here and gives an answer which is very specific to the document which you really want. This is very particularly important for your enterprise data where you would like to ask questions and get answers based on the enterprise data, not on everything that is out there in the public. Very contextual answer which will help you. Hope this helped you in our explanation of RAG. Thank you.